Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Competition Archery Media. We are out here at the Black Eagle New Breed Pro-Am in Russell County, Alabama, and we're out here on the crossbow range. And I'm here with Jason Wilkin, who, Wilkins, who's shooting in the Known 45 class. And uh, Jason, so you are, you won the last tournament, yes. the Hoyt Pro-Am. Yes. Um, so you said you just picked up crossbow a year ago. What is it that you like about shooting crossbow competitively? It's kind of frustrating, really. I mean, um, you know, your initial thought process is, well, it ought to, you know, how hard can it be? It's a crossbow, but it, I found it very challenging when I first picked it up, and um, then I kind of like have this mentality that I got to conquer it. I mean, it's 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 a little harder than what it looks like. You know, you don't have no holding weight to help hold the bow up, so you have to steady. You have to hold it up steady and aim and fire. So it's um, when you're using a six power scope, you're it's dancing around some days. So would you compare it more to shooting a bow or more to a gun, or is it completely different from either? It's not. I don't know. It's kind of a it's kind of a um, combination of both. You know, you kind of got to have the mentality of how to fire a, a, a weapon but you have to you know the, know the process of tuning and and stuff like that with a with a, a bow as well so um you know uh, something i've learned a long time ago and it's just a good life lesson doesn't matter whether you're racing cars or or whatever you know in your relationship the more you try to control it the worse it gets <laughs> That's great. Um, so you're shooting the Mission Sub 1 here. Um, what is it that you like about that crossbow? We were talking about, I was talking about with some guys earlier, and they're saying that it can take the abuse of regular competition. But what is it about that bow that you like? It, it feels good. I mean, I shoot it. It's got a pretty good trigger in it. Um, the overall mass weight of it's not, you know, ridiculous. And um, I mean, it's it's adaptable, I think, to pretty much anybody's style of shooting. So um, I shoot a little bit differently from everybody else, but I've got broad shoulders and a long wingspan. So something compact, you know, I look like a half folded up lawn chair half the time. But <laughs> <laughs> Well, s somebody at home who's sitting there thinking about, ah, you know, I shoot a crossbow. I don't know if I want to go out there and compete. What What advice would you give to somebody in that situation? You know, coming out here, you're going to have to shoot at every one of them because everyone else is going to be. So, um, especially in a known distance, um, you know, these bows can shoot. So, um, a lot of the manufacturers have actually stepped that kind of game up. So, they've all gotten better. And the arrows have gotten better. I think that's been a huge leap for um, crossbows as well as um, just not the, you know, the bows themselves, but the, you know, the, the bolts that are being made are, are, are better today than they were. So... All right, Jason. Well, uh, we hope to see you out here on the podium tomorrow. Maybe you can defend your title from the last one. We appreciate your time. All right. Thanks.